How's it going everyone? We're here to check out the skins this week and boy we have a lot of them and starting with this one here we're gonna jump straight into it but before we do that guys these are the top recommended skins that does not mean all of these will make them in the developers will be choosing eight uh, that will make it in on Thursday so right here we've got the forced scout set and uh, yeah, there's a four scout bag and this pretty much is made out of the same kind of like ghillie material. Now, I don't know if this is out of the range of what we might get because Face Punch may eventually add their own ghillie suit or it is to camouflage. We'll just have to see, but it's definitely a very cool idea. Next up, we've got a pretty crazy set here. It is the neon armor set. There's a glowing and a non glowing version of it. And as you can see here, it kind of just uh, looks like it's uh, just a neon billboard or candy man of some sort kind of thing. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hit the lights and show you what it looks like. Now, glowing armor usually isn't a good idea, so I doubt if it makes it in, uh, you know, uh, probably won't be the glowing version, but the glow is really what makes it look so cool, so... Mm, uh. Next up, we got another high quality set for you. This one is made to look like a body bag, and this is the body collector set. And uh, as you can see, it's kind of like a body bag material with some caution tape. Then there's a kind of a unique cartoony skull drawn on there, some duct tape holding pieces together. Same thing back here with the same skull and the rip and tear with duct tape. And you can see it, it's, you know, attached over the metal chest piece. Up here, there's a zipper going down the entire top. You got the skull on each side, and we got a zipper going down the face mask as well. Next up, we've got a pretty different set. This is the Stalker's Edge set by Samoda. And uh, yeah, it kind of has like this dragon scale kind of look to it, but also kind of has a very esportsy kind of feel, uh, especially with these like plain rubber bands and kind of the clean cut around it. Uh, it also has this kind of cool little logo right there, as you can see. And uh, yeah, on the top, it kind of just, again, like very clean cut. There's logo and just more of these kind of like scales. Last for armor, we have got the Shattered Mirror set. And uh, yeah, this is just really cool. The whole thing looks like it has the, you know, a bullet hole right there and the broken glass. You've got these kind of like very uh, plasticky looking straps holding it together. It looks like the tarp from in-game. But the glass is like made to have a bit of a design to go with the human flow of the body. And then when you get to this guy up here, it's just got this like crazy grin thing going on and I don't know why it's not popping up right uh, earlier it was looking fine but there's all sorts of problems with steam right now guys <clears throat> it's taking me hours just to get this video prepped uh, usually it's something that maybe takes an hour at most and it's taken hours so sorry about that there are gonna be some weird things Next up, we've got our deployables, starting with the Tea Ceremony Furnace. So we had a Tea Ceremony Knife, and it looks like this may be in continuation in that set. And there you have it. Definitely looks like some fine china. Next up, we've got a table skin for you, which is a little bit different. This is the Command Center Table. And yeah, it has kind of a Rust, I Rust Island around it, and it uh, looks like a map command kind of thing. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool skin. And uh, something very, very different, which I think could be quite popular. Next, we've got two more boxes. The pipe box set, we've got the metal and armor right here. So there you go, is the armor box. Of course, these do have some pretty sick glow, which we will check out here. Once we get to that part. Then over here, we've got the Retrofit box. And uh, did I just say Retrofit? <laughs> retro Wave box. And it is uh, exactly what you would expect to fit into the set. There is a glowing and a non-glowing version. So we will show you the glow here shortly, of course. Next, we've got some doors for you. Starting with the Glacial Visage sheet metal door. There's a mouthful for you. And uh, this is exactly what you expect. It has some epic icy glow that goes on and we'll be sure to show that here shortly next we've got a cute little alien hideout sheet metal door here and uh yeah it's got all cute little drawn aliens the whole thing actually looks like it's made out of like an old puzzle and uh, yeah i just think it has some very cool looks to it definitely a unique little door for sure then over here we've got a couple double doors starting with this one with some amazing art this is the death squad double door it comes in red and black this is the red variation of it definitely 
really really epic artwork there also i like how like the skeleton's mouth is where the key uh key lock or code lock goes then over here we've got a continuation well not really continuation a new side i should say the deep sea submarine double door by vitalik and uh yeah it's maybe jumping the gun a little bit i don't think that submarine's gonna be ready for a while but definitely a very nice looking door for sure then we've got a couple garage doors for you starting with this one right here this is the anti-cheat garage door and uh yeah this thing just has some uh kind of uh you know it's taken a little bit from some of the other sets that have been popular lately and uh, doing its own thing with it it kind of has a cyberpunk vibe going on which i think a lot of people dig right now then over here we've got a continuation in the nautical set with the nautical garage door this one looks like it has some wood paneling and some spray paint and i love it has this kind of like beaten look to it that is quite nice then over here we've got one last garage door for you it is the ice cream garage door by frostbug and yeah it's just a continuation in the ice cream set exactly what you expect all sorts of creepy ice cream monsters uh graffiti style even has a pretty cool looking roller all right let's take a look at this night nothing too special going on with this one here just uh your pretty much basic furnace glow the table lights up which looks really epic We'll get a little more of a bird's eye view there. Then, as you can expect from the pipe set, it's got those glow around the pipes from the inside, which is a really cool effect. Here's that retrofit. Retrofit, I said it again. Retro wave. Ah, glacial. And lastly, we've got the hacker. And look at that. It actually kind of looks 3D like it's popping out. And I think that's a very awesome effect for sure. All right, let's jump on into the tools we've got. Starting with a rock for you. This one is made to look like the entire thing it has bubble wrap on it. And I think that's pretty well done. This is the safe delivery rock and uh, definitely loving the look of this. I wish you could actually pop it and uh, hear it in game. Uh, it'd be a stress release for us. Next, we've got a very epic kind of like ore rock for you. This is the pink marbled rock. And yeah, it just kind of looks a little different depending on where the sun hits it. Definitely quite a neat effect there. And a nice unique rock. Then we've got a salvaged ice pick for you. It's been a while since we've seen any. And well, with this one, we've got the space ice picker by Jin. And, uh, yeah, uh, who knows? Maybe we can get an ice pick finally. I mean, it would be really nice. We don't have too many skins for it. And this is definitely a very nice one with a pretty cool rusty theme. Next, we've got a couple jackhammers for you. Starting out with this one right here. This is the Cobalt Jackhammer. And it definitely looks like it's taking a little inspiration from Dewalt, but made into Cobalt to fit the game. This whole thing just looks really industrial and epic. Very nice job on this one, for sure. Next, we've got a more silly jackhammer for you, and this one is the woodpecker jackhammer. And uh, yeah, it looks like a red-headed woodpecker right there, and uh, some kind of wood pieces, and then even the yellow beak at the end. You gotta love it. It's definitely hilarious. Next, we've got a really crazy-looking sword for you, and it's uh, honestly looking back at you, and well, it's named Look At Me. So uh, there you go. It definitely fits into that. And this crazy thing does have a glowing version, so we'll be sure to show you that here at the end. Next, we've got a crossbow for you, and this one's got a really nice, uh, like, earthy tone to it, and this really awesome kind of, like, dragonish reptile skin thing going on. This is the Hunting Crossbow by Rob Star, and if you check that out, look at that, like, lizard skin. That is very cool. Definitely a very nice crossing. Next, we've got a python for you, and this one's a little bit different. This is the Monster Python by Jessen, and uh, yeah, it's got all sorts of teeth and eyeballs and all sorts of things going on. And down the sides here, you've got a orangey sight. Shoot off a few rounds and pop a reload there. And there you have it. Next, we've got... A continuation in the toy set, and this is the toy sap. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's exactly what you expect. Boom. It's got the flames and all the bright colors. 
Even down the side, you even have some happy little stars. You gotta love this set. And even when you reload, it's a battery. Look at that. Ah, you gotta love that. It looks so good. Next, we've got a SAR for you, and this one is on the very artistic side. This is the Sea Monster SAR by Zinc. And the whole thing is this beautiful sea monster drawn onto the side of it. It even extends down into the clip. And then it has these beautiful scales all along the side of it. The whole thing is just a work of art and looks absolutely beautiful. Let's get a shine at that one more time there. Yeah. Next, we've got another SAR for you, and this one is from the newly accepted Symbiote set. This is the Symbiote SAR. It's the same thing. It's kind of got that clean-cut uh, black up against that neon, neon green. No, it does not glow, so uh, yeah, there's that. I mean, now the sides, you can see the iron sides are kind of scraped, but there's just a tiny bit of neon paint left there. We'll go ahead and pop a reload for you. Last in this group, we have a shotgun for you, and this one is kind of crazy. The whole thing has this kind of, like, Minecraft chip digital thing with a galaxy behind it, and uh, it's just so different from what we usually see in Rust. I had to show this one. I'm not sure if it's something helpful exactly like, but it's definitely a very unique-looking shotgun and is quite cool. And the glowing version isn't too half-bad-looking either. Next up, we've got a custom for you. It's a continuation in the Pharaoh set. And you can see it's got all that regalness. You can expect gold and gems, the Ira, a scarab down at the end there. We'll pop a reload. And there you have it. Next, we've got an MP5 for you. And this one is definitely a little more out there from what we usually get in Rust. But we've been getting a little variation in skin, so who knows? This is the Splash mp5 and it is just absolutely bright and wonderful i can see this one selling so much because of that and it just has nice clean cut look to the rest of it it also has a green tipped sight there and even the screw is painted in it's not much you can really do with this because of how up in your face it is but they did a good job and uh, definitely love the look of that Next, we've got another MP5 for you, and this is part of the Titanium Damascus set by Duck. And, uh, well, that's, well, pretty much its name right there. So you can see the Damascus Titanium going on. And kind of pretty much just a clean-cut look to the rest of it there. Aim down the sights, you've got a red painted sight. And a little bit of that Titanium sticking through for you. Next, we've got an AK that's seen a redo, and this is the Rainbow Iced Out AK. And I just absolutely love that rainbow to it. I mean, depending on how the sun hits it, it's got such a sick different variation to the colors. This whole thing's blinged out. I could see so many people grabbing this skin if it made it in. Uh, I would definitely grab for myself, even, even though it's not really my style, just because how epic this thing is. So there you have it. Definitely a very sick looking AK. Next, we've got an LR for you, and this one is a very beautifully done art style skin. Can't speak today. And the LR is called the Anglerfish, as you would expect, because it's got a big old anglerfish right there. It's got all sorts of little highlights, too. It's kind of got the gun broken up. There's little glowy kind of dots and so forth, the green dots. Even down the sides, you've got a big old angry anglerfish face and a kind of like navy blue with a black sight there so that's done up this one definitely looks really cool with the glow which we'll be sure to show you shortly next we've got another lr for you and this is a really cool looking one it is the white ninja lr by moon and yeah it's going for this uh kind of you know white contrast set it's got some black highlights and some gold tips Definitely see a lot of people really loving a skin like this, especially with that kind of matted look to it and the worn out kind of uh, look to the gold. Definitely a sweet design. Lastly, we've got a couple more LRs for you, starting with this one right here, which is from the Lost Souls set. And of course, is therefore called the Lost Souls LR. It's got that art up on the side. Aiming down the sides, you can see it's kind of rusted, but there's some red on the site there and it's uh, yeah the whole thing just looks kind of beat up like it is honestly seen some space time maybe I don't know 
but definitely a nice combination of worn out with an art style. Next, we've got a really sick looking LR for you. This is the Chroma Flare, part of Mad Polygon's Chroma Flare set. And that M249 did very popular, so I can see this one doing quite well. As you move around, of course, it changes color in the sun, which is quite epic. And it's got all sorts of gold bling, gold flames. It's the whole thing just screams, I am a PvP Chad. And uh, it just fits. Lastly, we've got one more, and this one also screams out. And this is the Texture Not Found LR. And uh, you gotta love it. Error no texture. You gotta know this. Uh, you know, if you, if you didn't play old school games, then I guess you just don't know. But if you know, you know. Aiming down the sights there, we've got kind of like a... Uh, I love how it looks kind of glitchy. It's just really well done. Definitely a sick LR. Alright, so let's queue up all of the glowy stuff, and we'll be back to check those out. Alright, so there is that glowy rock. Look at that. Quite beautiful. And then we've got the creepy sword. Yeah, it's definitely seeing us. All right, check out that beautiful galaxy on that. Definitely cool. And lastly, we've got... There it is. All right, guys, well, that does it. Thanks for watching. We will see you on Thursday to see which ones made it in, as well as a preview for the new stuff coming on the update for the 4th. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.